Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on water flood. And today's topic is about water flood front. All right, so here we go. What is water flood front actually? First, we have the reservoir under water flood or water injection. And you can see we have injector well here, injection well or injector, and we have producing well or producer there. And we inject water from the injector and we can see the progress of the water. Okay, you can see the injector moves far away from the well bore and towards into the reservoir. All right, again, continuous process, continuous process, right? And you can see the front or the face of the water by looking at the boundaries between the blue zone and the green zone, all right? And this is actually what we call water flood front, okay? The boundary or the face here is the water flood front, or we can also call it water front or flood front or shock front or front only, okay? So we have flooded zone here, and we have zone, the reservoir zone that hasn't been flooded. There, blue and green. And between them, the boundary, the interface between the blue zone, the flooded zone, and the not yet flooded zone, or the green zone, the oil zone, is the water flood front. All right, this is very important. And as you can see, this water flood front is the boundary between the part of the reservoir that hasn't been flooded by the injection water and the part of the reservoir that hasn't, all right? And as you can see, the water flood front or the front is the boundary between the part of the reservoir that has been flooded by the injection water and the part of the reservoir that hasn't, okay? And what about the saturation? The saturation at the front here the saturation at the front, let me use the pointer, the pen, the saturation here at the water flood front is called SWF, okay, SWF. And the saturation ahead of the front is actually initial water saturation, or it can also be the irreducible water saturation, or maybe many people call it conat water saturation, right? Of course, if it is a, a new water flood, all right, the saturation will be either initial water saturation, conat water saturation, or irreducible water saturation. But at the front, the saturation is SWF, all right? And of course, the SWF is higher than the initial water saturation or the irreducible water saturation. And what happened? Behind this front, behind the front, there is a gradual increase in saturations from SWF up to the maximum value of one minus residual oil saturation. So if we have SWF here, all right, some value, for example, here. If you go behind, of course, the water saturation is higher, right? If you go behind the flat front, the saturation will be higher. Why? Because this zone has been contacted by the water, has been flooded by the water for a longer period of time. And of course, this zone will have higher water saturation, all right, compared to the SWF. Okay, maybe the maximum value here for injection that has been continued for quite a long period of time, one minus O, one minus S, O, R, W, or residual oil saturation, okay? So for example, this is the saturation of one, okay? This is for the SW, all right? And this is the one minus S O R W. All right, we can make 
a line here sorry for the drawing and there will be decrease to swf all right but if we go behind from the swf so what we can see is the increase of saturation increase of water saturation from swf to this one the maximum value which is one minus residual oil saturation all right so that's the topic for waterfront front that's all i hope you enjoy the video i hope the video is useful thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next water flood videos thank you